in this session let us look into the fundamental steps in digital image processing this chart here illustrates the fundamental steps in image processing this can be classified as two parts the first part where methods whose inputs and outputs are images and the second one whose inputs may be images but outputs are attributes extracted from those images one thing to be noted here is that the diagram does not imply that every process is applied to an image this diagram conveys an idea that these are the methodologies that can be applied to images for different purposes now let us look into various methodologies that can be applied to an image image acquisition could be as simple as being given an image that is already in digital form we know that without an image no processing can be possible the image that is acquired is an unprocessed image image acquisition can be considered as the act of procuring an image from various sources this can be done using hardware system such as cameras sensors etc image enhancement is the process of manipulating an image so that the result is more acceptable when compared to the original image for a specific application one thing to be noted here is that a method that is useful for enhancing an x-ray image may not be the best approach for enhancing satellite images when an image is processed for visual interpretation the viewer is the ultimate judge of how well a particular method works so we can conclude that image enhancement is a subjective process image restoration is a process that deals with improving appearance of an image image restoration is objective which means restoration techniques are tend to be based on some mathematical or probabilistic models of image degradation color image processing is very important and is motivated by two principal factors we know that we can easily identify object in color image the human eye can identify different color shades also color image processing is an area that is gaining importance because of the increase in use of digital images over the internet color is also used as the basis for extracting information from an image color image processing can be divided into two factors one is full color processing second is zero color processing we will be learning about this in the later sessions wavelets are the foundation for representing images in various degrees of resolution a wavelet is a mathematical function used in compression of images and digital signal processing again we will discuss more on wavelets in forthcoming sessions compression deals with techniques for reducing the storage required to save an image or bandwidth required to transmit an image morphological processing deals with tools for extracting image components that are useful in representation and description of shape segmentation is the process of partitioning the image into its constituent parts of an object Segmentation is one of the most important and difficult task in digital image processing. Feature extraction always follow the output of segmentation stage which is a raw pixel data constituting either the boundary of a region or all the points in the region. Feature extraction consists of feature detection and feature description. Feature detection refers to finding features in an image, region or boundary. feature description assigns quantitative attributes to the detected features for example uh, detect co corners in a region describe those corners by their orientation and location this constitute the feature extraction process image pattern classification is the process that assigns a label to an object based on its feature descriptors classical approaches are minimum distance correlation bayesian classifier classifier modern approaches like uh, implemented using deep learning etc 
to conclude uh, we have seen the different processes that is used for uh, image processing in the session thank you